Assalamu alaikum and welcome to Mona's World where I share uh, my recipes and uh, party decorations so if you like that sort of stuff definitely subscribe and share. Um, today we're making lamb gray. Um, I have shared this recipe before but I will be making it in a completely different style today. So for this we need um, half kg of um, uh, lamb, any cut of your choice, this is lamb leg. Um, you can have anything that you want. Um, for the masala, we need um, one teaspoon of coriander powder, um, two tablespoons of, um, sorry, one and a half tablespoons of red chilli powder, or you can do it to your own taste, um, quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder, half a teaspoon of garam masala, half a teaspoon of black pepper powder, and one tablespoon of salt or to your own taste, um, one tablespoon of ginger and garlic paste, and we've also got these black seeds, uh, which are glowingy seeds, as you can see. Um, definitely put these in, it gives like a really nice taste, but put them in towards the end um, after it's cooked. Um, also got half a lemon, which we're gonna squeeze in, one large onion, um, three green chilies, a um, handful of coriander um, and save some to sprinkle on top at the end as well and four large tomatoes. Um, so with the, oh, we also need yogurt as well. So we're going to use some yogurt and obviously you need oil um, to cook this. But I just want to show you the um, tomatoes. Um, what we're going to do with the tomatoes is we're going to cut it in fours like this and we're going to put them in a hole but I need to take the seeds out so just make sure that you take the seeds out just like this so you're going to do that with all the tomatoes cut them in fours, de-seed them and we're going to put them in as well so let's get started first of all we're going to put the lemon um, so we've not put any oil in the pan and I've not turned the pan on yet, so it's a cold pan. Um, put the lamb meat in. Okay, we're now gonna put the um, onions in. So throw the onions in. So remember, there's no oil in this pan um, and we've not switched the gas on. So it's a cold pan, put the meat in, put the onions in. And we're gonna put the gin one tablespoon of ginger and garlic paste. And now we're going to add um, three cups of water and then we're just going to cover this and then we're going to cook this for a whole one hour. So we're just going to stir this very gently. So we've got three cups of water in here. And then we're just going to put the lid on. I'm going to allow this to cook for a whole hour. Okay, so I also forgot to mention that we do need to also add the salt in at this point as well. So, so once you put the onions, the <clears throat> lamb meat, ginger and garlic paste and also one tablespoon of salt and then allow that to cook for an hour. Remember at this point, we're not adding any more masala, it's just the salt that's gonna go in at this point. Um, so we're just gonna allow that to cook until the water reduces and the lamb is nice and tender. And then we're gonna start adding the um, masala that I showed you earlier. Okay, so it's been about one hour and we're now gonna check um, how it looks. So as you can see, all the liquid has now disappeared. Okay, so we're now ready to add the tomatoes in. So add them in, and as you can see, I've quartered them, de-seeded them, and then added them in. Just going to stir this. Okay, 
Okay, and we're just going to leave this on low heat. And then just cover for 10 minutes and then we'll come back in 10 minutes. Okay, so after 10 minutes, we're just going to check the tomatoes. And as you can see, they've softened. So what we're going to do is just take the skins off. Just like this. And we're just going to do that with all our tomatoes. As you can see, the tomatoes have released their own liquid as well. Okay, so once you've taken all the skins off, just give it a stir. I think I've just left a bit there. We're now going to cut this completely until the tomatoes completely disappear. So I'm going to give it another five minutes. And then just cover on low heat. Okay, so it's been about five minutes now. And what we're going to do is we're just going to add half a cup of oil in. And then we're just going to stir this. We're just going to put this on high heat. And then cook this for another 10 minutes. We're going to add the spices in now. So one and a half tablespoons of red chilli powder. Quarter teaspoon of turmeric powder. One tablespoon of coriander powder. Half a teaspoon of garam masala and half a teaspoon of black pepper powder. We're now going to stir this. And we're going to continue to cook this for at least 20 minutes. Okay, so we're also going to add um, two tablespoons of yogurt. And we're just going to mix that in.
and then just mix that in. And we're just going to cook this for another 10 minutes. We're also going to add um, three green chilies, chopped, to add them in as well. And we're just going to stir that, as you can see. Um, it's starting to get like a really nice colour now. Okay, so as you can see, the lamb curry is now ready. Um, 10 minutes before taking it off, um, just add some coriander in. That's just like a handful. And then just stir that in. Also add the half teaspoon of black seeds, that's the glowing juice seeds. Um, definitely put this in, it gives like a really nice taste, um, especially when you're making any sort of chicken curry or lamb curry, so definitely add this in. And plus it makes it look nice as well. Okay, so now we're ready to take the lamb curry off, and I'm just going to squirt some, uh, squeeze some lemon in. That's just half a lemon, and that's now ready. Okay, we're just going to take one, just to check if it's cooked. As you can see, that's nicely cooked it's breaking very um, easily there Lamb grey ready to serve. Okay, so lamb grey is now ready. As you can see. Looks really pretty. You can serve with naan, chapatis, 